Hi Freedom Church, my name is Lisa from Freedom Heidelberg and it's so great that you're joining us today for Psalm 119 and 120. We want to look into Psalm 119 today together. John and me, we have this friend uh, who is into Marvel movies. Those are the movies about superheroes like Hulk and Captain America. Now if you ask him any question about it, he will tell you every single detail because he knows every single detail and at times I'm like why is he so freaked out about those Marvel movies? Why is he so into it? And the same question I've asked myself this week when I was reading through Psalm 119 I was like why is this guy so much into the Word of God? Because Psalm 119 is all about how he writes about the, the Word of God and the love he has for the Word of God. In verse 97 we read, Oh how I love all you've revealed, I reverently ponder it all the day long. This psalmist had a great love for the Word of God and I believe it is because it was something real in his life. It did something in his life and I've taken out four areas where it does something in my life as well. And the first one is the emotional area in my life, the emotional life I have is affected by the word of God. Now we read in the psalm he says, if your revelation hadn't delighted me so, I would have given up when the hard times came. Now there are hard emotions where, where we're gonna feel heavy and sad and discouraged and disappointed, but the word of God, if we dig into it, it will encourage us and we can go forward again. So honestly, this psalm is when you read through it, he's discouraged at times, he wants to give up, he even asks God to stop, but on the other hand, he's adoring the word of God and he's embracing it. So there's a, a, a like this emotional, state where he's not yeah, letting it happen that he's gonna be shaken through it but being encouraged by the word of God. The second is mentally. It can help us in a mental health, in our mental health. When we meditate on the word of God, it does something to our mental health. So when I was young, I struggled with anxieties and fears. My youth leader suggested to me I would meditate on Romans 8 where it says nothing can separate me from the love of God. But not only to meditate on it, he said speak it out loud when those times come where you feel so scared speak it out so I, I spoke it out and it just changed everything around me so every time I would come with that word nothing can separate me from the love of God so mentally it will help us as well in our lives the third one is that it will help us in our spiritual lives because Jesus said men shall not live by bread alone but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Now we have the Bible, we have the word of God which we can feed on and if we go on a scale and weigh our body weight we can see kind of are we in a healthy state or in an unhealthy state. The same it should be with our spiritual life. When we stand on that scale where are we? Are we in a healthy or are we well nourished or should we take care of that nourishment a bit more so that our spiritual health shall not lack because the word of God has everything we need. And the third, fourth one is the physical as well. God spoke forth the world by his word so it can change things around us in the physical realm as well. So this psalmist wasn't quick in writing this psalm. It was a long journey with the word of God he had in his life. And I believe God wants to encourage us to dig into that word. It's not a quick fix we can pull up once a month and find an answer or a solution for every problem or issue we might have in our lives. But it's something where we steadily go on a journey and find ourselves in new stages in our lives. The Bible should be seen as a mine, not a museum I heard once. A museum is where you look at, but a mine is where you dig in for treasure. And there are little gems which God hid in this word for your life, for my life, which he wants you to discover and be so joyful about him as well. So that psalmist knows why he loves the word of God. I don't know about the Marvel movies, but I know about the word of God. It's something I want to treasure and find those gems in it every single day of my life. And the best of it is, it's growing my relationship to God as I dig into it. Guys, I hope this encouraged you and I hope this word of God will encourage you this week. Stay safe and tune in tomorrow again.